Hello humans, I'm Yoshi, and welcome back to some more Kirby Superstar Ultra in this Redux walkthrough of mine. And in this part, I shall continue on with the Milky Way Wishes mode by going to all sorts of other planets. In the previous part, I took on these two planets, the grass planet, nature planet thing called Floria. I took on the water planet known as Aquarius. Now I'm going to continue on with the sky planet known as Sky High. Or I'm sorry, the wind planet known as Sky High. So here we go, without further ado, let's dive on in. And again, this is probably my favorite song in the game because it's so catchy. Okay, so here we go. I guess I'll go into this level. I'm thinking the sword. Here we go. I'm gonna cut some stuff up. I'm gonna slice these clouds in half. Here we go. Okay, so this level has three hidden copy essences deluxe pieces on it. I believe one of them is the jet ability, and I can get the jet ability by cutting this block up here. You don't have to use the sword ability to slice that block. Whatever gets that block away will allow you to go up here and get the jet ability. Now, you need the jet ability on this level because you're going to have to light a fuse, and you don't have the fire ability yet, so the only other ability you can use at this time is the jet ability. So light the fuse, and then I advise actually switching to the parasol ability so you can actually jump and glide down in a sense. This parasol lets you move quickly when you're in the air, but of course, I was still too slow. Okay, here we go. Let me try this one more time. Okay, making sure that enemy doesn't respawn. Okay, ready? Go! Okay, and then go, 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 go. Switch to parasol. These ice enemies, they're so annoying. Uh, there we go. That'll do it. Okay, and then up here I can, for some reason, get the wheel ability. I don't know if I'll need that for this level, but hey! I got the wheel ability, so hooray! Okay. You know, I'll just use it to get out of here. Okay, cool. Now, this next part of the level is a little bit of a maze. You're gonna go in all sorts of doors. One set of doors will get you to a uh, copy ability, and one of them will get you out. I think constantly going in the middle gets you out. And you know what? Actually, I don't even know anymore. Let me go in the middle. Oh, well, I found the copy essence of deluxe piece. Here we have the wing ability, so now I, be now I can become a pretty little birdie. Hooray, but now I have to focus on getting out of here. I found all three copy essences deluxe pieces for this level. Now we just have to escape it. So I don't know what gets me out of here. Okay, so going in the middle there allowed me to get to the copy ability. So let me see. Uh, let's go in the middle. Ooh, invincibility candy, I'll take that! Okay, here we go. Give me that, yeah! Candy! Okay, middle, I think. I think constantly going in the middle gets me out. I don't know. Oh, wait, I'm, ah! Uh, ah, uh, okay, you know, I'll kill you, yeah, die, okay. Uh, maybe not going in the middle, maybe going to the right, because now I feel like I'm going in familiar rooms. All right, go to the right here. There we go. This one with the sparkly star on top is the way out. Hooray, I found it. I'll take a sword because I know a boss fight's about to come up. Here we go, I'm going up against Cracko. Cracko was a boss in the Spring Breeze mode. It's been a little while since I've seen him. In fact, I think I saw him again when I was doing Mennonite's Revenge, no? No, maybe I didn't. I think he was only in Spring Breeze. I'll go ahead and use the ice ability. I'm gonna fight a weather cloud using a weather condition. Ice! Haha! <laughs> you wanna see cold? I'll give you cold, you friggin' rain cloud. Okay, here we go. No! Dewey, hang in there, buddy! Hang in there, Dewey! Do it now! <laughs> Darn it! Alright, give me this. Woo! Here we go. Once you have so many of these abilities, this mode just becomes easy. Because you can use them on a whim at any time. There you go. Sky High has been completed, but I still have many, many other planets that I have to complete before I can finish up this mode. So here we go. That's just one of many. <laughs> Next up, we've got. Ooh, it looks like fire to me. We've got. The fire, or the flame planet, hot beat. Okay. <sighs> all right. There's not really a specific ability that you want for this part because you're just gonna be flying all over these little lava flame block things, lava, magma, whatever. Don't touch them. Frosty or Chili, you're providing a bad example as to what you're supposed to do with these. Stop touching them. I mean, I guess it's a good example because you see what happens if you do touch them, but you shouldn't be touching them, Chili. Okay, now for this part, this is a little weird. You're gonna wanna hit this bomb block and cause the lava to fall out. And then you wanna gonna, then you're gonna wanna go up here. You're gonna wanna get the invincibility candy that is up here. And using this, you'll become invincible, which means you can actually touch these lava blocks without getting hurt. Which means you can fly up here, go through this doorway, and then keep going up, I guess. A little bit of foreshadowing here with all these fire enemies here. And whoop -ah! Now you have the fire ability, which you can use at any time during the level, but I don't really know how much I'll need that. I don't think I have to light any more cannon pieces for the remainder of this game mode. Oh, but if you look at the bottom screen, you might notice that there's only two big circles and one small circle, as opposed to all the other levels that had three big circles. That's because there's only two abilities that you can get on this level. And that is what that means. There's no third ability on this level like the previous one. There's only two. The second ability is actually coming up. 
you want an ability that can destroy blocks that are above you. So I advise having the wing ability ready. So hang on. Oh, let me go over this. Got to be careful. Don't touch anything. Okay. There's a little arrow of food. But you're not want. You're not gonna want to go that direction. I mean, you are, but you're not gonna want to go up in that spot. Darn it. Darn it all. Okay, here. It's like ice for a second. And oh, actually, this is the part right here. These blocks can be destroyed! Okay, uh, okay, yeah. Like I was saying, go to wing. There we go, and just destroy these blocks above you, hooray! Okay, and then there will be a little boss. This is Bugsy. So, alright, Bugsy, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna freeze you down. Freeze! Ha-ha! Yeah! There you go, Bugsy has been defeated, and you might have noticed I've been fighting Bugsy, which means after defeating it, I get... Okay, well, my partner gets... The Suplex Ability! Yeah, now I can forever tackle stuff, but I'm going the wrong way. I need a minecart that goes to the right, not to the left. I need to go forward in this level, not back through it. I got everything I need. Oh, Bugsy, hang in there, buddy. We're almost done. Bugsy, no. Bugsy. Bugsy. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Now, there's still a bit more to this level, but there's no more collectibles. At this point, you can do whatever you want. I, uh, well, I thought having the ice ability would be a good idea. I guess not. I'm gonna go with it anyway, because fire and ice is a great combination, though. I guess it's not so much a great combination when you're going up against fire, because the ice will melt. But I'm not going up against fire, I'm just going over lava blocks that can potentially burn me. Okay, here we go, some cannons. Just shoot wherever you want to go, I guess. I mean, there's some health items, but I don't really need them. I just need to continue on with this level. Okay. Okay, actually, I could go for that max tomato, considering that I could use some health and Bugsy's about to die. So there we go. Hooray! Even though I can spawn a new enemy, I can spawn a new partner on a whim, I may as well heal up Bugsy. So here you go. Okay, it's kind of pointless now, because I just gave you chili. I'll go with sword. Here we go. Oh, it's this boss! It's this chameleon boss that appears in the Great Cave Offensive. Hooray! You know, funny thing is, though, in the Great Cave Offensive, you don't have to fight this boss. You, 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 you don't. He's in that old tower portion of the Great Cave Offensive, which you can completely skip if you're not going for 100%. So I think it's funny. But hey, I'm gonna beat him up anyway. I've beaten you, I've, I've beaten you before and I can beat you again, especially now that I have Copy Essences Deluxe Pieces! So I can spawn any ability I want that I have on a win. There you go. Die. There you go! Dead. Okay. Flame Planet is over! That is another planet down! I have activated this planet Star Rod and now I may move on to the next level. Hooray. Okay. Up next is this asteroid thing. Cave Planet's Cavius. Oh, I remember this level. This level's kind of like a maze, but then you realize it's not so much a maze because there actually is just like one specific path that you go on and it just gives you everything you need in a super quick fashion. It is a maze if you just go on like one wrong path, but it, it's actually really easy. It has a bunch of mini bosses like this little chef guy here, Chef Kawasaki, but I've defeated him easy enough. Now what you want to do next is actually you, you want to go over here. Going on this path over here will get you to everything you need. Going down that ladder just kind of takes you around in circles. So don't go down any ladders just yet. Fight this bomb guy here. This is a foreshadowing because once you defeat him, you'll actually get the bomb ability at this level. This is Joe. Defeat him, get your bomb ability, and now you can start going down. And I advise going down by going over to this side of the level. And then you'll slowly get brought to other mini bosses that will give you other abilities. It's very, very convenient. It's very easy to get lost in this level, but then you realize that there's just one very specific path you can go on, and it's super easy. Oops, actually. <laughs> Messed that up. I actually was supposed to go down here. Whoopsies. Okay. There you go. And now, there's a hammer mini boss, and you know what that means. I am very close to getting the hammer ability, the best ability in the game. Don't, any don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Here we go. Now that I have the hammer ability, I'm unstoppable! You can break this, get, oh, get a bunch of stuff. Okay, now what you want to do is actually you want to go down, go to the left, and not only, will this will lead, not only will this lead you to the next part of the level, but it'll also lead you to the next copy essences deluxe piece, which is in the next chunk of the level. Because in the end, you have to go down to this part of the level anyway. But going on the path that I went on, you can get two of your copy essences deluxe pieces on this level, while still continuing on to this level in a steady fashion. Here you go. Bugs, eh? Boxy! Thank you. Okay. Now for this next Coffee Essences Deluxe piece, you're not going to have to fight a mini boss. I mean, sure, you have to fight a mini boss in order to get into this room in the first place, but in order to get to the piece itself, 
You don't need to fight a mini boss. You just have to go up here, hit this switch, and race back down to the bottom. Hitting that switch will open up a door. Swim all the way back down in order to get to the end before the door closes, and go inside this doorway. Here you will find the stone ability, as well as a bunch of other goodies. So here you go, you can have that. I'll take this. I don't need the one-up thing, but I will go for that invincibility canyon in just a second. And now I have hammer. All right, let me get this. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, now I'm invincible. I'm gonna go ahead and try and spam this as much as possible. So go, go, go! I have all three copy essences, deluxe pieces for this level, so hopefully I can just get out of here and use this invincibility to the best of my abilities. Here we go. All right, this boss is Wham Bam Rock, who also appears in the Great Cave Offensive. You de if you've defeated him there, you can defeat him here, especially now that you have the hammer ability with ease. As well as a bunch of other abilities. But yeah, ah! These bosses become so easy once you just have every ability because then you can generate a helper at any point in time. So I can do this. Now he has full health, and now we both have hammers! Hooray! You're done for, Wham Bam Rock. You are so done for. There we go, come on. Come on, you. Uh -huh. Okay, well, I'm not doing the best job right now. I should use this fire attack, but I keep missing. But if you land the fire attack, it deals a ton of damage. It's not really hard to land, it's just awkward to land. It's not hard, though. All you have to do is push up and B. Oops, I was supposed to be up and B, but whatever. You're not fine. I don't have time to charge it because, yeah, his hand's gonna open up and it's gonna hurt me. And he's almost dead anyway. There you go! Now he is dead, and this planet is over. Well, actually, it's about to be over. I just have to go get those star things. Activate the star rod for this level, and... Whoosh! Now it's over. Hooray! I have completed another level! Only, like, three more planets to go. Okay. Okay. Now I have to go to... Actually, maybe only two more planets. Alright, now I have to go to this one, the Machine Planet Makai. I think that's how you pronounce it. Makai? Machine? Whatever. Okay. <sighs> this level also only has two copy essences to like pieces on it, and they're kind of awkward to get because they actually are somewhat hidden. You have to take very specific paths. So for this first part of the level, try and stay as high up as you can. I mean, you're gonna have to go do this can in order to progress on with it. But actually, no, this is the wrong room. Just do whatever you want in this room. There's no copy essence of select pieces in this room. However, you can't get invincibility candy! Here we go, all right. Now you kinda wanna stay up as high as possible. Staying up high will allow you to get onto a higher route, which will allow you to get access to the next copy essence of select piece. So here we go, let's go up here. Now, there's high winds here, but you have to get inside that door. How am I going to do this? Uh, actually, I don't know if I want to go back around. Oh, actually, there's a thing there. What did that do? I have no idea what that did, but okay. Maybe that wasn't for me. Okay. Uh, ooh! I have idea! Okay. Let me go to wheel. Or right, actually, let me try jet. Let me try jet. Mm -mm, no, that's not going to work. Further proving that the jet ability isn't that useful, but if I go with the wheel, I can go against the high winds, get ahead, and then go back and go up. Yeah, let's try that. Woo! There we go. Okay. Now, again, a bit of foreshadowing with all the yo-yo enemies here. If I go all the way to the bottom, and I go inside this doorway, I can get the yo-yo ability. Hooray! Now I can beat people up with a yo-yo! Hooray! I can spawn a yo-yo at any time. But why use a yo-yo when I can use a hammer? But I'll stick with the yo-yo ability for now because my partner already has the hammer. And I need to get through these high winds again, so I'm gonna go back to the wheel ability. Here we go. There we go, yeah! And now I'm gonna have to push a bunch of switches. And then I have to push all these switches in a proper order so that I can get through all these doorways in time. All right. Thankfully, this isn't a timed level. You can spend as much time as you want on it, but of course, I would like to clear this level as quickly as possible because it means that I'll have a shorter video, which means shorter rendering times, which means shorter uploading times, which means you guys will be able to see it in a more quick fashion, even though all my videos go live at noon every single day. Here we go. Let me go for hammer! All right. Now, this room's a bit weird because there's a bunch of floors. On each of these floors is a mid-boss, or a mini-boss. I'm sorry, not a mid-boss, but a mini-boss. If you go all the way to the top and then you go to, whoops, if you go all the way to the top and you go to the left, you will fight this mini boss, and defeating this mini boss will allow you to gain access to another copy as the deluxe piece. In this case, it is the plasma ability. However, I'm gonna go back to hammer because hammer is my favorite ability in the game because it's the best ability in the game. Now, if I go back down, I believe I have to go to this random one here on the right. I don't know why it's this one, it just is. So yeah, let's fight hammers with hammers. Bunch of hammers, you are dead. Go through this doorway to go to the boss of this level, even though you just fought a bunch of mini bosses, and I get to go up against Heavy Lobster, who is a boss in Meta Knight's Revenge mode. Huh, I keep forgetting that the Heavy Lobster has a new theme in the remake of Kirby Superstar. Because in the original Kirby Superstar, this song does not exist. In this game, this song exists, and it plays for Heavy Lobster, and I love this song. 
It's repetitive, but I love it. Okay, I've got hammer. Die. That is the power of the fire hammer attack. Heavy Lobster has been defeated, which means this level is over, which means I can activate the star off for this level, which means I can move on to the next one. Woo! Okay. I have 16 of the 19 abilities in this mode, and I have one planet left. Okay. All right. All right, sorry about that, humans. I actually had to restart my recording, but that's okay. You guys didn't miss much. I am just going to the eternal planet that is known as Half Moon. Now, this level only has two copy essences deluxe pieces on it. And I only have 16 of the 19 in this mode, which means I have three more to get. So where's the last one? Well, I'll show that as soon as I complete this level. For now, ooh, these ninjas, they hurt. The ninjas hurt. Ah, uh, but if you go over here, there's actually a warp star you can take that'll help you with this segment of the level. And will allow you to go through it, dodging a lot of the hazards, making things a lot easier. And then you can go over here to this doorway. The high winds. Okay, now here we have a bunch of mine carts. And somewhere in this room, there's like a block I can destroy, but I, I forget specifically where it is. Give me just a moment to find it. I think it's a little ways into the level, though. I don't know. Let me go... Let me go back just in case. There's a block you can destroy that takes you onto the secret path that allows you to gain access to the next copy of Essence's ability in this level. And I just don't remember specifically where it is. Well, that's not it. That's food, but food is handy. All right, let me... Okay. I guess I don't need to take the mine cart back. I'll just find my own way. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Down here. Nope. Nothing. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Let me continue on. Then that was a little bit of a waste of time. I apologize, humans. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Here we go. There it is. That's what I need. Okay. So let me destroy that, and then let me go down here. There we go. Go in this door. And there we go, here I can get the mirror ability, but I don't really plan to use that. I'm gonna go back to hammer because that is a much more useful and practical ability to, to, to use. Practical, useful to use. Sorry for the redundancy, humans. All right, one more copy essence's ability exists on this level. And based on the foreshadowing at the beginning of the level, you can probably tell that it's the ninja ability. And it's a little bit later into the level. I just have to keep going on. I think that Warp Star actually helps me with this segment of the level, but just in case, I'm gonna go ahead and explore things. I'm gonna go ahead and take my time. I'm gonna go ahead and be slow and steady. I'm gonna make sure that I find whatever it is I need to find, and if there's nothing to find in this room, then oh well. I'd rather not chance anything, though. So far, it appears that I have not missed anything. I hope that I haven't missed anything. If I have, then you'll see an edit here. But if you don't see an edit, it means I haven't missed anything. So here we go. Two mini bosses at the same time! Whoa! I can take them both on by myself. Urgh. Spam those invincibility frames. There you go. Both dead. Huzzah. Okay. Pretty sure I haven't missed anything, so let me go ahead and continue on with this level. Hmm? Just making sure there's nothing up here. Okay. Okay. Alright. Oh, actually, yeah, it's in this room. I remember this. Yeah, okay, so there are these winds that'll blow you upward in the level. And, of course, there's going to be a doorway at some point that will allow you to gain access the last copy essences deluxe piece on the sub one it's right there inside of this doorway and if I want to break open that bomb block I should probably get the yo-yo ability so let me go ahead and cycle through these so many I have so many oh whoops there it is thank you okay no let me go up I don't want to go past it there we go I guess I could have destroyed the bomb block on the top but that's okay I destroyed it here we go here is the ninja ability, and I'm getting destroyed by these ninjas, but hey, you two will get destroyed. Now I have 18 of the 19 abilities, and I have the last ability on this level. But where is the last ability of this mode? Well, I will demonstrate that in just a moment. It's not on this level, though, so don't worry. You can go ahead and complete this level, knowing that you haven't missed anything since as long as you obtain the two abilities that are on this level. <sighs> okay. Just gotta deal with these high winds. Die. Alright. Oh, and then here we go, alright. And I don't really need that one up. I will go for this Maximator though. Okay, so this is that RPG boss that appears in the Great Cave Offensive mode. So, I strongly advise having the Hammer ability, just like you should have with any other boss, because it deals the most amount of damage. Here we go. Now, even though this is based on the boss from the Great Cave Offensive, you will actually be fighting different things. It's still an RPG boss, but now I'm fighting all sorts of other stuff. Now I'm fighting a magi uh, magician and an evil knight. And again, I strongly encourage using the Hammer ability for this boss fight. 
Now, of course, because you're fighting different things, they'll use different attacks, they'll have different amounts of HP, they'll be harder to defeat. But of course, if you have the hammer ability, you will wreck the living daylight out of this RPG boss. Here we go, now we have a dragon, the toughest of all the things in this RPG boss in this entire game. The dragon's the toughest. Now be careful, he can do all sorts of stuff. He can defend himself, he can breathe fire, he can roar at you, he can do all sorts of stuff. I am trying to use the fire hammer attack because it deals the most amount of damage, but the window in which it actually deals damage is actually quite awkward. But I'm trying my best! You see, whenever I land it, it deals a ton of damage, but it doesn't work if my partner here attacks when I'm trying to use the attack. And here we go, let me go ahead and charge this up one more time. There you go! This RPG boss has been defeated! I gained a bunch of experience, even though it doesn't really matter. <laughs> you gained a bunch of experience, not that it matters. My maturity went up! My spirit went up! My sincerity went up! My puffiness went up! Yeah, my eyes sparkle! Your friendship went up. I love it. It's just making fun of all those random stats that appear in RPG games. I love it. I love it. Okay, here we go. This planet has been completed, and this is actually the last planet that I have to complete in order to progress on with the mode. That's every single planet in the mode, humans. Now, this next thing is telling me to go over to this clock guy here, but I'm gonna show you guys where you gain the last Copy Essences Deluxe piece. You see this little glowing star here? It only glows now and again, but it's supposed to tell you that you can actually go to this level. The last ability I'm missing is the copy ability. That is why there are these random enemies over here that like to steal your ability, because normally when you inhale them, you get the copy ability. An ability that lets you <laughs> copy your opponent's abilities. The most redundant ability in the entire game. And the developers of this game are so self-aware of that, so they decided to hide this ability on this random planet over here. Ah! You know what? Actually, it might be smarter for my partner to have the wheel, so that way I can ride on top of it. There we go. Give me your wheelie. There we go. Jumping. Ah! 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 Come on, come on, come on, come on. And the music. The music is the theme of the resting area in the Great Cave Offensive. Here we go. Here is the last copy Essence's Deluxe piece. I guess I can't be on top of you when I get it. There we go. Now I have all 19 of them and I can evacuate this level. And there we go. That's all of the abilities in the mode, all of the planets completed, but the mode's not over yet, humans! There's still more stuff I have to do, and I'll do that stuff in the next part! So that about wraps up this part of Kirby Superstar Ultra in this Redux walkthrough of mine! I'd like to thank you all for watching. See you all next time in the next part when I finish up the mode by doing more stuff! Bye bye humans <laughs>